a biblical theology of money, we turn first to the Older Testament and we find there's a kind of double message. On one hand, money can be a great blessing. On the other hand, money can be a problem. When we turn to the New Testament, we see Jesus talked a lot about money. I mean, some analysis says that he talked more about money than he did about heaven. He gave the parable of the rich fool who said, I've got all this stuff, going to take my life easy now, eat, drink, and be merry. And God said, you fool. He spoke about treasures in heaven. Oh, I wish he'd said, by that I mean. And then the shrewd manager in Luke 16, the rich in the kingdom of God. It can't, a rich person, it's hard for the rich, not impossible, but like going through the eye of a needle as a camel. It's more blessed to give than to receive. Acts 20, very interesting context. He's not saying it's more blessed to give money than to receive money. He's actually saying there, Paul, he's saying, I supported myself as an apostle because it's more blessed to give ministry free of charge than to receive. And then in a critical text in Matthew twenty-two twenty-one. Jesus said, give to Caesar what is Caesar's and to God what is God's.